Scientists from the CSIRO are going back to school, but not for their own benefit. Their task is to get more girls to take on science as a career, and their target, boys whose attitudes are believed to be one of the blockages. Science reporter Gavin Gilchrist. Astronomers working the Anglo-Australian Observatory begin probing the centre of our galaxy. But do you notice anything special about this workplace? It's typical of Australian astronomy. There's not a woman to be seen. By contrast, in some Western countries, like France, there are more women astronomers than men. That's the exciting bit about my job, because you, you're finding things that have never been, uh, you've never seen before. Rabina Atrupchek is one of a rare breed, a female astronomer. She's also part of the CSIRO's Women in Science project, talking science careers to primary school children. Australia's problem is that to age 15, girls are as good at science as boys, but many take it no further. We're really losing 50% of our potential good physicists by not showing them that they can get a career in science. Rabina enthuses about black holes, galaxies and UFOs. How do they put up the radio telescopes in space? Part of the talk aims to break down the stereotype that scientists work 24 hours a day at a laboratory bench with no idea of the real world and no involvement in family life. So she tells how research and family life can fit together, like when she was at the park's radio telescope observing Neptune while her daughter slept on the floor of the control room in a sleeping bag. And she'd wake up in the morning and have a little look to see if Neptune was any bigger, getting any closer. The project's found talking to girls alone is not enough. We're not just acting as role models to girls, we're wanting women scientists to go out and also show themselves to boys so that they can also see that women have a place in science. Progress will be slow and hard to measure, but the hope is that a valuable resource will in future not go to waste.